All right, everybody, welcome back to yet another LGND overview of another giveaway. So behind me, we have LGND 32. This thing literally just got done. Uh, we were still working on it this morning, actually up until about 30 minutes ago. There were a few odds and ends to take care of. Um, we're coming up on the, as of now, when I'm making this video, we're coming up on the beginning of the giveaway very quick. It's the holidays, everybody's busy. We're trying to get things done and uh, we got it done for you as always. So as promised, we always say, well, you know, more cool giveaways coming. Don't worry if you don't win, you can win more cool stuff. And this is exactly why we say it because every single time we do a new giveaway, it's completely different than anything else we've ever done before. And I think this one speaks for itself. So we have a full overview video to go over here, but first and foremost, I'm gonna get into the, not get into it, I'm just gonna tell you briefly, January 1st to February 10th, if you're watching this between those dates in 2023, it's a new year. When I'm making this, it's not, it's still 2022. But when you're seeing this, it's a new year. If you're watching it between January 1st and February 10th, then you can get it to win this thing. If you're not watching this between those dates, you're shit out of luck, I'm sorry. Okay, let's get into it. So it's a 2022 Denali HD Duramax 2500. And obviously it's not a factory color. What is it? It is wrapped in purple chrome by Hexus. We've done quite a few, pur not purple chrome, we've done quite a few chrome trucks in the past. We've done regular chrome, which is just satin chrome. There's no color to it. Uh, we did red chrome on LG ND13. We did uh, teal chrome on LG ND23. Then we did orange chrome on LG ND21. And then we did titanium chrome on LG ND16. So we've done quite a bit of different chrome wraps, but it's been a while. LG ND21. No, LG ND20. Was it 24? Four. 24, the chrome one. So the chrome dually that we did last January was the last chrome truck that we did. After January of 2022, we did not do another chrome vehicle. So this is our first chrome vehicle in a year and just so happens to fall in January again. So the first truck of 2023 is a purple chrome Denali 2500 HD. And obviously we don't just wrap the truck itself. We wrap a lot of extra parts. So let's get into the details on this thing. So the grill, we had to leave chrome didn't need to leave chrome. We could have painted it black, whatever. So the grill comes chrome. We, the top piece is separate from your surround itself. So the top we wrapped in just all chrome, purple chrome. Then the surround, we did a little two-tone action here. So you have your purple chrome on just the face of the grill. So your sides, your beveled edges basically are left chrome. Emblem, left chrome, but painted black on the GMC lettering. Your cross, your, um, what do you want to call them? Your, your grill meshes oh, there you go. on your grill. They're all painted gloss black. Your balance, gloss black, but we have wrapped the end pieces and the bottom. So the balances on these things are three separate pieces. This is a separate piece from this, and this is also a separate piece. So you have three separate pieces. The balance itself is all painted gloss black. Why did we do that when we wrapped it chrome? Because you cannot wrap textured plastic. I've said this a million different times. And um, I have to keep saying it because there's a good chance that a lot of you that are watching this are seeing an overview video for the first time ever. So you might not understand that you can't wrap textured plastic, but you can't wrap textured plastic. So it needs to be a nice smooth surface and uh, that's why we do gloss black. So if anybody ever takes this wrap off, this truck specifically, you will have a completely murdered out truck with some chrome pieces here and there. So in the headlights for the first time ever, we did wrap. I always say we won't do wrap and headlights. And the reason for that being is that over time, if you do wrap your headlights, they can peel, bubble, whatever. You, usually trapping heat somewhere isn't good for anything, not even paint. Uh, it could bubble paint, but it will bubble wrap and it'll make it fold. It'll make it do weird things if you seal up your wrap and your headlights. But fortunate enough, I didn't want to wrap anything besides just the C-bar. So we only did the outside edge of the C-bar. So if you look at it from the side, you can see the purple. But if you look at it from the front, you don't see anything. So that's the only piece that you would be able to do. If you started wrapping all this stuff, I wouldn't trust it. Over time, there would be an issue. This, not so much. You kind of have it sandwiched between your outside bezel anyways. So even if it were to start lifting back there, it wouldn't get up past that bezel. So that's fine. But if anybody who does win this that takes off the wrap down the line, just keep in mind, you're gonna have to open up the headlights, okay? So purple wrap on the C-bars. These are also switchback, so it's not factory. We deleted our normal OEM signal, which is normally is a lens inside of a lens, right? And we tinted, actually we just completely painted black because that's deleted. 
don't need it anymore. So now our C bar is not only our DRL driving light, it is also our signal now, along with our switchbacks and our mirrors, which are also white when you're driving. We have switchbacks in quite a few places. One more place we have them is our handles, which are not, actually they are factory. And we offer these at the lab. Where are we right now? We're in the lab. So if you want these handles for your 2019 to 2022 or 2023, Denali or Chevy, 1500 all the way up to 3500, we sell them. And we'll need your factory handles. If you don't want to send yours in, we can get you new ones. But anyways, these are factory handles, they're modified. So we actually cut out this slit right here. We make the lenses in house, and then we put switchback strips in back of them, and then we wire them up to your doors. And now these signal as well. Pretty cool. And of course, they're white when you're driving too. Fender flares are wrapped in chrome with our bottom section here where the line, where you see this little divot, right? It splits off. Normally we will do these in just all whatever color we're wrapping. On this one specifically, I thought it would look kind of cool. So we have that black. Our normal fender lights, which are normally lit up, are now wrapped in purple. We have the show off, or sorry, these are actually Kelderman fender deletes. Because normally on these trucks, they'll rub back here because then the stock ones go down to like right here. So we got the deletes, we painted them gloss black. Uh, more stuff that's wrapped in purple. Let's see, that's about it. Fender flares again. Rear bumper. Obviously the entire tailgate. Okay, now let's get into paint and lighting. So tailgate, handle, painted gloss black. Tail lights, gloss black with a tinted, well sorry, tinted with a gloss black border. So the only place that's tinted is where light shines through. Everything else where light does not shine through is all glass black. So I mean, normally on a colored truck, if we were bordering it with a color, you would see it. But unfortunately, since these are black and the truck's black, um, you don't really see the actual separation of the tint and the paint, but it's there. Bed steps, painted black. I believe the actual bumper steps are painted black as well. And then up to the front, I already went over the emblem we have. That's pretty much it. Oh, our fog light buzzes up here. Gloss black, I suppose. Uh, for cab lights, they are OEM cab lights with LED swapped internals and then painted gloss black with only the LEDs showing through. So when they're off, you only see these little slits where you can see the LEDs through them. Mirrors, as I said before, they have switchbacks in them and the factory reflectors. So we open these up and we'll put the switchbacks in them, painted the insides black, and then obviously all color mash and smooth mirrors themselves. And again, that's something that we offer at the lab. If you don't want a full truck built in here, we're not up and running yet. We will be mid-January. So by the time that you're seeing this, we might be up and running. It's worth a shot. Go to the website, thelabct.com or go to the Instagram, shoot us a message, whatever. Just get in contact with us and we can get you set up with mirrors, handles, headlights. If you're in like another state far, far away, we could ship you this stuff. But if you wanna come in and have your full truck built, we'll do that too. So if you want our headlights, if you want our mirrors, if you want anything built from us or just order a set of wheels, we'll offer all that, but we'll ship it to you. But if you're closer, come on down. Anyways, let's continue. So mirrors, amp steps. This one did not come with factory steps. It's an option on the GMCs and the Chevys to get uh, factory power steps. Fords on the other hand, if you get anything above, I think it is, I think just the Platinums, they come mandatory standard with power steps. Our third brake light is also painted black only where there's no light shining through. Our roof is left gloss black. Uh, that is it for lighting. Okay, now let's get into suspension. So, this is the fun part. Actually, before we move on to suspension, this is considered lighting. Rock lights. We have 20 rock lights on this thing, okay? Two in each wheel well, two on the sides. So, left side, right side, two down the sides, two in the front, two in the back, and then a couple down the center of the truck to light up the whole entire truck. They're both on separate switches. So if you want your fenders just to be lit up when you're going down the road, you can. If you want the whole entire truck to be lit up when you're going down the road, you can put both of those on and boom, you got the whole entire truck lit up. Um, common misconception is will your battery die? No, probably not after a day maybe, but I left on a few trucks overnight by accident with uh, rock lights on them and a good amount of rock lights, just about the same amount and it didn't kill the battery. But one time it did, it took two days, so. There you go. Diesels have two batteries for those of you that don't know. Anyway, suspension. It's a seven to nine inch lift kit from Show Off Motorsports. 
with the show off, which are basically the same exact design as the Cognito upper control arms. Everything is powder coated in purple chrome to match the, the wrap. It's um, granddaddy perp. Really? John, what was the name of the, the, uh, the powder coat color? <laughs> Candy, Candy Grape the Third. With Casper Clear over it. Okay, there you go. Gave away the secret. Candy Grape the Third with Casper Clear over it. Matches Hexus Purple Chrome, Satin Purple Chrome wrap almost perfectly. So anyways, entire lift kit powder coated in the Satin Purple Chrome, just like the, uh, the wrap. So there's really not much to go over. I mean, I could tell you every single component of this lift kit, but okay, let's do that. So we've got upper control arms. We have our extended spindles. We have our new tie rods, sway bar drop links. Our sway bar, our factory sway bar is powder coated in purple. We have our sway bar drops over there. Then we have our cross members. Let's say show off, pretty cool. Our bump stop drops, you can see them from here. Coming to the side, we have our factory torsion bars, powder coated purple. We have our braces from Show Off powder coated in purple, our torsion bar drop in purple, and then in the back we have U bolts, Mag High Tech diff cover in two tone, so purple diff cover with uh, gloss black fins, and then our lift blocks are powder coated in gloss black. Fox 2.0 shocks all the way around, these are resis front and rear powder coated gloss black resi clamps. And then wheel entire setup. We have two inch wheel spacers from Shifted Industries, best wheel and spacers in the industry. We've been using them for so, so long. And wheels, we have American Force 26 by 14, Peak SFCC, concave in other words. And they have Algini Supply Co written on the lip, I think twice, right? Top and bottom. And the caps are billet, same exact material as the wheels. And then spiked lugs for metal lugs in chrome, and then our tires, the 35 by 15.5 are 26 Fury MT tires. I think I've touched base on every single thing. Okay, all right, interior wise. Listen man, we've been doing this a while. They're all the same. These trucks haven't changed since 2019. Um, apparently 2023, they're getting an update, I believe. I believe, unless it's 2024. Maybe 2024. But there's no 2023s available yet, which is unfortunate. So 2022, even though it is 2023 right now when you're watching this, um, we couldn't secure a 2023 because when we were buying this a month ago, they weren't available anywhere. And we buy anywhere in the country. So if there wasn't one available for us to find, there was none available in general. So interior hasn't changed. It's still the same thing as all of the other overview videos we've done for any type of L5P Duramax from 2019 and on. But um, for those of you that don't know, that haven't watched any of our past overview videos, there's really not much to it. It's just a really, it's a nice interior, but all the new trucks are nice interiors. So this thing is just jet black interior. You have all the wood grain. They have changed the wood grains. They literally just changed the material. I don't know the, the color way, but that's really the only thing they've changed. Um, this one does have the digital rear view camera. Digital rear view mirror, I should say. So if you wanna see the video, which has beautiful night vision, by the way, or if you just want to use it normally, you could do it both ways. And then, uh, yeah, there's really, there's no massage seats in this thing. It's got the 360 camera. You got your Apple CarPlay. You have your Android Auto. You have an amazing sound system, heated, cooled seats, wireless charging in the middle over here. You have plenty of cup holders. One, two, you can fit something in the middle here. Plenty of console space, storage. But other than that, plenty of leg room for the people in the back. Some trucks um, do not have a lot of leg room, but these ones, the new ones, I should say, the older ones, the 2018 and down, had not much, but the new trucks from 2019 and on, they, they all have good leg room. So uh, now, that, now that I'm looking at it, might as well say it, for the people that are wondering, is it two wheel drive or four wheel drive? All of the Denali Duramaxes nowadays come with four wheel drive. So yes, it has four wheel drive, no. You're not gonna get stuck. Yes, it works. Yes, there's a front drive shaft. So you have four wheel drive, you have everything you need in here. You have everything that there is to be offered in a new truck, in this truck. But again, if you wanna learn more about like the quirks and features of a 2022 Denali HD Duramax, um, 
just go to GMC's website, really. I mean, I'm not gonna get into like the hertz, the specifications of the sound system and all that, but the basics, you can see it here. Nice truck, okay. So, with that said, you've seen the inside, you've seen the outside. Now it's time for you to go get yourself entered. So this is the actual $50,000 cash that we've been using to advertise for LG ND31, which is outside that door right now. And once LG ND31 winner comes, this will be his and, or hers. And once this winner comes, we're gonna have to go get cash after we give the winner that cash. And it happens every single time. If you wanna see that actually happen, we do it during all of the winner videos. So the day the winner comes, we go to the bank, get another 50K. The original 50K goes to the winner. The new 50K stays with us. We use it until another winner comes. So that's how it works. It's just constantly revolving, just constantly going. But anyways, this is real cash. We always use real cash for all of our videos. You can actually win that thing in $50,000 in cash. And it has happened to 30, by the time you're seeing this, 32 people. No, 31 people, 31 people. This is 32. We'll have successfully awarded LG 31, hopefully by the time you see this. Remember, winner announcements, winner um, drawings only happen a week to 10 days after any giveaway ends. So if the giveaway just ended six days ago when you're seeing this, if you're watching this on January 1st, then we don't have a winner. If you're watching this midway through January, then we have a winner and we've probably already awarded it to them. So anyways, if you wanna be like the winner of LGN31 when that happens, or if it happened, or any of our past winners, I suggest you go to the website, lgnsupplyco.com or click the link in the description below. Get yourself entered because this thing is going to go to a lucky person. And it could be you, but not if you don't get entered. So hope you enjoyed the overview. We're gonna start doing more things in here. And uh, if you end up getting some stuff done here or ever stop by in person one day, we're right off the highway, right off of I-91, stop in, get entered to win the truck in person and you can come check it out in person. So I'll either see you here or next vlog.